out. Um, anyway, okay, we're going to try 1f3 again. So I've managed it twice, and you've, you've always got to follow it up with king f2. Uh, can we go further with the king up to here? Mm, probably not. Seems a bit risky. We'll just go g4. It's important for me to protect some squares around my king now. Um, okay, d3 is potentially a mistake. Okay, we'll play... This is quite a difficult position already. We'll go knight c3. Kind of worried about bishop c5 check. Uh, I'm probably already losing... Well, I'm probably just already losing, uh, but definitely losing material here. Let's go across. I mean, the right thing to do is to swap queens, but um, I don't want. I don't want to. Um, if I can just defend for a little bit, then I should be okay. Now, Bishop C5 has a nasty threat of Queen F2 mate, so the game would it would be a big disaster if it ended that way. But I've found time to go Knight F3. And now everything should be okay. Queen goes back to e7. Pawn goes up to g5. And we we, we have a game. Uh, my king is perfectly safe on g2. Um, and now I have a knight out on my opponent and he has a queen out. So uh, I'm kind of expecting my opponent to resign anytime, uh, anytime soon. 1f3 um, is, a, is a pretty good opening, I think. Um... Okay, I'm going to see if I can... Let's give a little check here. I don't want to have to defend at any point, basically. So I don't want to defend the pawn on e4. So, always worth giving a little check. I want to just sacrifice a piece here. But it is a really, really stupid decision. So I'm not going to. Um... Even though these games are purely for your entertainment, um, I reserve the right to try not to lose. And anyone who is bothered by my attempts to try not losing, um, you can give me feedback from my Twitter account, I suppose. Uh, but uh, I'd like to think that uh, I lose enough games the way I play that uh, hopefully you guys don't mind too much. Um, this game has never really normalised out. Um, my opponent tried too hard early on to, well, take advantage of my king, which was absolutely the right thing to do. But having failed, it means that uh, suddenly it's uh, actually very, very difficult for him to use his, uh, get his king side out. And in fact, that's what I'm trying to take advantage of. Uh, we could try rook h6 here, but I can defend with knight h4. Not certain what my opponent's idea is for the moment. He's going to take that pawn. I'll take this pawn. How am I doing on the clock? A minute three against two minutes. Okay, going to need to speed up. Um, <laughs> one of these days, I will stop playing so slowly. I think that's probably the, the single thing that is affected most by, um, by my commentary, is the speed at which I play. Uh, it's fine to play badly at Blitz if you're playing really, really fast. But um, if you play badly and you play slowly, uh, then you drop a lot of rating points. Okay, we're just going to do this. My opponent's kind of survived for the time being, which is annoying. I don't like the fact that my opponent survived. What could have been a really bad position for him. But uh, I just need to catch up on, on the clock here. Uh, interesting. I'm going to take that off. Ooh. Um, that's annoying. I don't want to have to come back and defend, but I think I have to. Uh, queen back. This is suddenly much trickier than I hoped it was going to be. Okay. I can take that off and go queen 6 h5. 25 seconds left against a minute 18. 2, 5, 3, 4. I'm what? Just... Oh, sorry, I can't count. It's six pawns against uh, against four. Two extra pawns. So my plan is push a pawn, 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 promote a pawn to a queen, and win the game. 
Uh, if I can flick in mating my opponent at any moment, then that's also great. My opponent's trying to distract me from push a pawn, push a pawn, push a pawn, but uh, I'm trying my best not to be distracted. And so we get on with pushing a pawn. And try not to get mated. And push a pawn. And give a check. And bring the queen in. And uh, maybe bring the king up. That's a nice way to finish things off, maybe. How does this finish? Ooh, that's a nasty move to play. My opponent's down to very little time. Ah! There must be a mate. Come on, there must be a mate. Takes. And it's checkmate. Well, two queens are normally pretty good against a bear king. Um, so I went with the process of, if I keep checking him, it's going to be mate. It's going to be mate. It's going to be mate. 3.3 seconds. Absolutely fine. Uh, rematch. Definitely time for a rematch. Uh, I wouldn't have said that, uh, that I've quite managed to hit peak form tonight. Um, it's better than it was right at the beginning. Um, I don't know why that could be. Does my opponent want to rematch? No, he's left the chat. Um, this is the problem when you play one uh, F3, two King F2, is that sometimes people think that you're not taking them seriously. But... So I, I apologise in advance to all of my opponents. Uh, this is purely for, for hack attack purposes. Um, I wouldn't normally go about this. Uh, I'm going to play a slightly dodgy opening. Um, it in fact sacrifices a rook if my opponent goes queen h4 check. Uh, it's kind of known as the Linford variation, I believe. Uh, allowing queen h4 check, g3, uh, queen d4 check. And then you try and trap the queen on a1, but it's probably not uh, completely sound. Um, oh, that was what I was supposed to play. I've been asked to play the check perk as well. So, yeah, I knew that there was an opening that I'd forgotten. Um, so I will attempt to fit that in at some stage. Um, well, I feel like I've moved a lot of pawns here, but Harry the H-pawn on H2 isn't really participating. So we're going to get him in the game. Push the pawns down the board. Um, the great thing about playing this way is my opponent's completely nonplussed. Go go eight um, is very much not going anywhere. He is thinking, "What's my opponent doing?" D four is a pretty good move, though. Having said all of that, his threat is just to take that off. Ooh, it's kind of annoying that move. Okay, we're going to go bishop d three, and unpin the pawn on d2 so that after takes I can recapture the pawn. Now what looks really dangerous is pawn takes e3 followed by knight d5. This is an inaccurate way of doing it because now I can play e4 and I survive. Uh, I'd have been in a lot of trouble had he taken on e3 and played knight d5 first. So yeah when I play these games my opponents have real opportunities and if they take them with both hands then uh, then they can come out there with, uh, with a result in these games but um, if you miss these opportunities, then I'm going to try and be as ruthless as I possibly can uh, and come away with the win. Because I'm still very, very competitive. I don't believe anyone uh, who plays chess seriously isn't competitive. Uh, you do want to win every game that you're playing, even if you're starting off with one uh, F3-2, King F2. Uh, okay, time to take my king off that diagonal. Hmm... Going to need to develop some pieces. Going to pre-move c takes d3 because it's obvious my opponent's going to take that off. Being able to guess what moves your opponent's going to make is really rather useful in blitz chess. And sometimes it's really based on just paying attention to what he's playing. For example, he's gone c6. He may very well go c takes b5. So if I want to pre-move knight takes b5, well, that might save me two tenths of a second, three tenths of a second, which doesn't seem like much, but... When you end up winning a game by 3.3 seconds, it all adds up. Uh, and in fact, he decides not to. Um, but I haven't lost anything by doing that, because my knight can't move to b5 with the pawn there. 
so now I'm just going to blockade. Happy to recapture with the pawn here. Let's do another little pre-move here. Um, every week people ask, uh, how do you pre-move? Well, it's something in the in the settings. Uh, you just click on settings and then moves and pre-moves. It should all be reasonably self-explanatory. Uh, there is a help section on chess.com if you're if you're still unsure. Um, but uh, it's been a long time since I did any of that. Okay, how are we going to hack attack this guy? Uh, I guess I need pieces pointing at my opponent's king. Uh, right, I don't want things to get completely blockaded. Ooh, interesting decision. Interesting. He decides to take back with the knight to try and make use of this f4 square. So I'm going to stop him from doing that. And now we only have one... We have two open files on the board. The H file and the G file. So that is the battle contention for the next period of the game. And unfortunately my opponent has uh, carelessly allowed me to win control of the H file. And that, in that means I can invade on H7. Uh, and I've picked up a pawn to boot. Which means bad times for my opponent. So there's the doubling on the H file. I want to bring my queen over as well. You need all of your pieces helping out if you're going to win uh, with an attack here. Ooh, I should be careful about sacrifices on g4. think it's okay for the time being, but that's where the game could go wrong. The only problem here is I can't use this bishop, which is really annoying me. But hey, I'm going to go rook h5, bring the queen to h4. My opponent's going to swap a pair of rooks off here. But here I've managed to finally move quickly. Finally, 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 I've learnt my lesson. It's only taken me 28 episodes, but I can now move quickly. Come on. Go, go. Go, go, go. Make some moves. Oh, has my connection gone down? Uh, I still, I think I'm still broadcasting. But, uh... I don't know. I was about to win this game, so... It's not a good time. Oh, I've reconnected and I've got 40 seconds left. Panic over. Um, uh, what was I going to play? Oh yeah, it was Rook H5. That was it. Well, everything should still be working. Queen up. If G8, Rook H7 wins the Queen. And there we go. That, as they say, is that. I'm just checking that we're still going out live. Have we dropped any frames? Nope. Everything is fine. Uh, was that the first game? It was. Yeah. So let's offer the guy a rematch. Um, okay. So check perk is the next thing for me to play. How does the check perk go? I think it's like this. And then c6, and then queen a5. This is a request from one of my friends, Ben, who I lived with for a couple of years. He's a big um, check perk exponent himself. And uh, I play for the same team. In fact, it's his team in the British League. And uh, we basically had to ban him from playing the check perk because it's such a bad opening. Uh, we said, look, we, we know it's the only opening you know, but just play something else. Play a Sicilian night off. And he did, and he played so much better. And uh, got a result against uh, an IM, I believe, or a strong FM. So, yeah. I don't think that 4-H3 uh, is a massively critical way of playing against the Czech pet. But even this should be enough for a slight advantage to my opponent. But, um... Yeah, my opponent's played something non-critical, which means I should have I should equalise just about. How? So I think I should be playing a quick b5 here, otherwise, otherwise the game just becomes normal and boring. And normal and boring is what we try and avoid on hack attack. Going to be playing a few more blitz games before we switch into the bullet section of tonight. I can't believe no one wants to play um, one uh, d4 against me. It just seems like we might be going an entire month without me able to be playing the Slav. So apologies to the person who asked for that. I really didn't think it would be that difficult to fit in. 
But uh, at the next opportunity, I will play it. Uh, alternatively, how about some people that uh, are rated between 1500 and 2000 that play 1d4, just come along and play 1d4 against me. That will solve the problem all the more quickly. Okay, so I've put pieces on this A7 to G1 diagonal to stop my opponent from playing F4, because that kind of looks like my opponent's main plan in this position. And, okay, now I'm going to try and get control of the F4 square with a strange manoeuvre, manoeuvre my knight fire via uh, e6 or g6, possibly to f4. Mm -hmm. Just wondering if I can do something fun here. wonder if my opponent wants to swap the queens off with queen e3. Well, if he does, then queen takes e3 would be a good move. But uh, I am going to just try and keep the queens on, as usual, if possible. Um, yeah, he wants to swap the queens off. I don't... He wants to play knight f5 now, I'm guessing. That's going to really annoy me. Let's get across to c7. Uh, I know that I'm giving up a pawn, and I know it's a really bad idea. But um, at least I get a g file for it. Ooh, queen c5, he's being greedy. Uh, I might live to regret some of the decisions. <laughs> okay, knight back. If knight into d6, I think I can get away with king d7. I think I can. I mean, I really hope so. I mean, it's the only move that makes any sense. Okay, so this game's going to normalise. He's probably going to go queen d6. And at that stage, when it's a choice between literally getting mated and swapping the queens off, I would agree to the exchange of queens. Wow. Wow. I don't think I saw this coming. Um, this looks very, very dangerous. <clears throat> but two pawns and a check is not enough for a piece. But picking up that rook on a8 definitely is. How did I overlook this? I am not entirely sure. Uh, we're going to struggle to come back in this game. Okay, well, we're not because my opponent's got 30 seconds to my um, minute 12. We're just going to attack my opponent's king and everything's going to be fine. Uh, but losing the rook on a8 was not part of the plan. For those of you who are wondering. But it's fine. Look at me just point pieces at my opponent's king. Uh, we may even manage to win this one over the board. Let's take that off. And then bring my knight in. Knight landing on f4 is bad news for my opponent. Um, don't really know if there's a way of me finishing this off. I'll uh, see what I can do. It kind of seems like my opponent's got it under control. Least for the time being. Ooh. Let's give a little check. Bring the knight back around. Take that off. My opponent's down to just a couple of seconds. And there go the last of his pieces. And yeah, he does resign with only three seconds left. And there we go, we get a, a 2-1. 